Saab brought us. Well, we'll tell just boost some episode because we're here tonight in the office. Um, <clears throat> today we went to Coco Head and uh, <laughs> uh, I blew up some arrows. It was super fucking windy out there, like like super windy. And by the way, Dane them just shot a pig um, today. And uh, you can see, oh, you can see that. <laughs> Brothers texting me in the middle of filming Dane. Nice shot though, yeah, yeah, nice shot, yeah. He shot a pig, but I couldn't find his pig. Anyway, so we gotta build, we gotta flip seven arrows, we gotta cut seven arrows, and all that stuff. So before we do any of that, I'm gonna put it on this, uh, this arrow spinner thing right there, cause, you know, as you can see. I'm just gonna, you know, just trying to figure out, you know, which part of this arrow that is, that needs to be cut, you know. I don't know, it looks, looks pretty good. This one, this one looks pretty good. So we don't have to, we don't cut down regular. This one is pretty bad. So I gotta actually cut this in. This end has a huge fucking raw ball on it. You can't see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but let me try. See if you guys can see them. Oh, can't hot them. Can't hot that, bro. Smoking hot. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, though. Like, right there, is she wobbles a lot compared to this side. Like this side is pretty straight as hell. So what I'm gonna do is, <clears throat> I'm just gonna mark this side so I know that I I need to cut this side of the arrow. And this is where I usually put my fletchings too, on this side, so it's gonna be a little bit weird. It's gonna be a little bit weird, but I don't care. So this one, I'm gonna cut this side. This side, we're gonna cut this side. I'm just gonna mark it. Uh, let's see. So, if you guys are wondering what shafts I'm running, I'm running a uh, gold tip 300s. Um, I'm gonna cut them down to uh, 29 inches. That's just the way I feel. I don't know. I feel better. I can make it shorter, but. I like the 29. I don't know. Oh, Boy, this thing is pretty bad. I mean, you see that? You see that sign? camera again so what you tell him Kim the shock what do you say just boost him you know what I mean anyway my son wanted to uh kinda hang out and uh see what we're doing again um we gotta put some inserts in these bad boys and uh we should be good. Should be Gucci. Anyway, so we're gonna use this uh, blue glue. Basically, you gotta heat it up, and then you're gonna wanna, you're gonna put it on the insert, and we gotta put the inserts in. So, anyway. 
like I said earlier, uh, I'm kind of lost to be honest because of my son wanted to uh, Fire in the house, yeah, son. Not good. Yeah, no play with fire, yeah, boy. Yeah. So, daddy gotta heat up the glue, okay? And you gotta put it, you gotta put the insert in here. You see this? So I gotta put it inside here. So basically, we just gotta heat up the glue just a little bit. Might be kind of rough on this one right now, cause I put whatever feels, you know what I mean. It don't matter to me. I put whatever it feels like, whatever feels good, you know. You think shouldn't be hot, you know what I mean? It should be cool when you're doing it. It should be just be perfectly cool, you know. And then we just heat it up real quick. Fast kind. I'm just, just gonna just turn it in, spin it in. You know, right now, oh yeah, I think it's stuck in there. So we're gonna just heat it up real quick. Shove it in. Once it's all GG like that. Take off the axis glue, dip them in the water real quick. Just fast kind of cool them down. You know, easy stuff, easy, easy. So, got a rag right there. So, basically, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. We're just trying to put these uh, inserts in. Clean them up a little bit. Oh, anyway, we are back. Fucking GoPro, always overheating. Jesus fucking Christ. And then my son, my son wasn't having it. He, he wanted to get out already. Um, I told me I had to wait because the camera was overheating. Um, so again, we got our inserts in. We got our inserts in. So uh, we just gotta put our wraps on, and then yeah. Put the wraps on and then we gotta fletch them. So, uh, I'm rocking these ones right there. I think this is the four inch ones. I'm not too sure. Hold on. Yeah, I think this is the four inch. So, I got these ones from um, Island Archers down here in Hawaii. Uh, I got these ones from them. So, we just line them up. Line that bad boy up, and then just roll them. Just like on joint, cousin. You know what I mean? Just like that, cuz. Just like that. So we put our fletchings. Our fletchings is gonna go on top of this thing. To be honest, I don't. People say it's 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 a lot better that you can actually see it when you you know you miss the bell. Like me, I'm always missing bells. Um, I know, I, I gotta get my, actually, I gotta take my bow in and get it completely paper tuned and all that good stuff. Like, I, I need to get those things done. Um, you know, even though I have, I could, I could probably do it myself, you know, but it is, I got, I got, so like today, I was shooting with Thomas and like we're shooting at 120 yards like we're just fooling around but we're sitting the bell you know and then we was going 20 30 40 and then we went inclines like we were shooting from up on a hill down into the target um we're doing great we're doing fine and then all of a sudden we end up trying to shoot at i think at 30 at 30 yards and my arrow was going and then so my arrow would go Cause I have a helical to the left, right? Uh, oh, actually offset. So let me see, I have it written down here. 
Um, I have a two de uh, three degrees left um, on these arrows. Where is it? So right here. It's not. It's not too bad, you know. It's not some fucking major crazy fucking offsets, but it's definitely nah. It's decent. But my arrows would go like it would fly straight and good, and right before it hits the bill, it does like a fucking goes like that, and then foop, and like it just fucking goes around the bill. Like I, it's probably me, though. Know? Uh, hundred percent. It's it's it's, it's got to be me. I'm the one. You know, it's probably me, but I mean, I, I shot three arrows and all three did the same thing. So, I don't know what the issue is. I don't, yeah, I don't know. It could be me, it could be my bowl. And I know a lot of people ask me, well, brother, okay. <laughs> What kind of bow and arrow do you use, bro? I use a PSC, cause the PSC Brute uh, NXT. It's actually an RTS, a ready to shoot bow. Um, I bought it off of Amazon, um, but I did upgrade, I upgraded my sight. I'll show you guys after. Upgraded my sight. I also upgraded my my drop rest. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we are back from our break. Anyway, uh, we're gonna start fletching. This is what we're gonna. This is what we're gonna start doing. We're gonna start fletching our arrows, and uh, get her done. We're gonna rock. Hold on. We're gonna rock the same ones. Two inches veins, purple for the cock vein, and white vein. Two inches, bro. So, this is the tedious, this is the definitely the tedious part of it. Is the, the boring part of fletching. So, I guess this is kind of the same way as if you were, um, what would you say? It would be the same as if you were doing like a rifle, you know, doing your ammo. It will be the same way. So this will be my, my cock thing. You know, I, I never cleaned this bad boy yet, so. Fuck, we might have to change offsets. Because. Only because I, I never, I never cleaned these, uh, these things yet. But it should be good. Look, look all right. Should be all right. And while we do this, we'll do some Q and A's, cause do some Q and A, some stuff like that. All the goodies, all the good goods. I don't know. I kind of want to try. I think I'm gonna try another. Um, I don't know. I don't know. So right now, my offset is three degrees offset left, so left helical. <coughs> when I did my um, when I was um. What you call what, what is it called when you shoot the arrows without the veins? Bull shaft Tony or bull shaft. So I marked it, I shot the bell at like five yards. You know, it was too, it was showing that my arrow was coming out left. So I stand back like 10 yards, shot it again. Did it out multiple times to make sure that the uh, that the helical was basically or the shaft was spinning in the left, so I'm using a left helical. Um, I know a lot of guys say, oh, the helical is going to slow you down, it's too much helical. Yeah, probably, probably, probably. And um, I know a lot of guys going to be like, what glue are you using, cause? Gorilla glue. You know, I, I've never tried all the, any of the other glues, but this one works fine for me, bro. Fucking fabulous for me. I don't really put that much. Sometimes I get I get too much on them. 
you know, you wanna kind of spread them out, get the bobbles out. So when the things stick to the to the the shaft, it's a uh, it's cherry. But yeah, cause you don't really need that much. You know, it's it's basically super simple. Put up the shafts just like this. Throw the ring, throw the ring on it. You know what I mean? Throw the ring. Throw the ring. Okay, brothers, why you not fitting? Okay. Just like that. Just like that, bro. We'll see how it comes out. You know what I mean? So far, looking good. You can kind of see it. Inside there, I don't know if you guys can see the veins, but yeah, you can kind of see how the thing fits inside there. I don't know, guys say, you know, they they wait, you know, 15, 20 minutes, depending on what, what glue, what glue you guys use. Uh, me, I just use, I use uh, Gorilla Glue, whatever glue I can get my hands on to them, you know. And the thing about these veins is um, you don't have to prime these ones. So, you can go glue right on, cause you can just start hammering them down, you know. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This drink right here is fucking amazing. Um, improves focus, plant-based energy, accelerate metabolism. Vegan, hair and skin health. Accelerates metabolism. Doesn't look like it's working, buddy. But no, this energy drink rain is, is fun. All right, all right. Anyway, oh, GoPro is trash. I'm not gonna lie. So this video, I filmed it like two, three weeks ago. And I was trying to recover a lot of the video, but I couldn't get I couldn't get it to recover. Uh, there was a lot of corrupted files. There was a lot of missing. Um, there's a lot of missing audio out of it. It's driving me nuts, bro. It is just so I'm filming it off my phone, and um, so we had the, so as you see the video had stopped. Right, it just got stopped right there, and so I'm putting this part in. But I also want to give a shout out to Val Camouflage brought it in for sending me a care package. Uh, that sent me this long sleeve, also sent me a, a face shield, and also a killer jacket that's behind me. Um, thank you, my brother. So you guys go ahead and follow them on the Instagram and support locals, brothers. You gotta support locals. And um, I'll put a link down below to their Instagram and all that good stuff. So we're definitely gonna do a lot more videos with their clothing on. We're also gonna do some hunts with it. So we have a lot of plans that is going on. We've been sitting down, we had a couple of plans of what we're gonna do, where we're gonna hunt, who's going, and all that good stuff. But everything takes time, and everything gotta align up with everything, you know what I mean? So, with that said, I know we've never been posting a lot of videos. Also for the trapping and the pigs, I know a lot of guys uh, DM me for, um, for pigs right now i'm only catching the peacocks and there's so much peacocks so we usually just we either trap them and we put them down and we take all the feathers and we keep all the feathers but the the bird we you know we, i don't know who eats it i don't eat it um but if you know anybody who eats it let me know um so we also started uh i started a new company kk wildlife control basically um wild nuisance animals you know from rats mongoose peacocks pigs whatever you whatever you need off your i know or your land or whatever we'll take care of as long as it's in the bushes and in the mountains we don't do rats in the house or anything like that or spiders or ants or centipedes just wild nuisance animals um but um definitely gonna put a gonna put an instagram together for it that's what took a lot of time that's why i wasn't i've never been posting because starting this company was well, crazy it was crazy but i definitely will get more information of that you know website and all that good stuff and so people who wants to get rid of some nuisance animals you know and all that good stuff so stay tuned for that uh, i'm definitely gonna gonna do another video at the uh, couple a either couple a or cocoa head archery um 
range and um, do some videos out there and maybe do some interviews with some other products out there and stuff. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. What, we, we got a lot of plans going on. And I'm sorry I kind of slow with the videos, but, you know, if you guys got any other good ideas to film things, let, let me know. You know, hunting. I know guys will keep telling me, brother, you said you can do a fishing video. I know, I know. I might have a, I might have a partner, a fishing partner, Isa, because... So I might have partners to go back fishing. Also, my brother, like, go back fishing and all that good stuff. So, when I said, with work, the company, and trying to start an archery club at Coco Head. So there's a lot of things that's going on. So with that said, you know, just stay tuned with us, you know, make sure you sub, like, all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below. And um, yeah, just stay tuned. But I'll let you guys know. Till the next one, boys. You guys be safe, because just boost up, brothers.